I don't even know what, guys. We don't know what look we're doing. Like this is the one we're gonna. We're wear not to wearing it. this. Yeah, we're not wearing to this, this to the concert. My dress does have like this kind of color on it, so I'm kind of gonna go for like something with this. But I just don't know what to do. I don't know. My outfit is pink, so I, I want to do like a pink glittery look. But uh, I feel like I can never get them. I never do other makeup looks. Like I, I always do the same look. I'm probably gonna do the same look. Look, the same look, <laughs> and add like some glitter, but that's it. Cause what else? What colors am I supposed to use? It has been a very long week. Weekend. Weekend. Actually, we've been doing so many activities. Some this weekend activities. Has, yeah, this weekend has been too much. Yeah. Like too, too much. I'm, I, I'm so tired. Guys, and all the products that I'm, we're both gonna be using. It's the same products from our other videos. Um. I'm not gonna name any of the products because yeah. we've done, we've named the products in our other videos, guys. And we're actually getting ready super early because knowing us, we're we're probably gonna be late. Like if we don't start getting ready right now, I'm kind of scared because I'm. This is gonna be my first time using this foundation, the Milani. Well, I've used it before, but like it never matched. And I stopped using it. But like I wonder how it looks with blush. <laughs> You're gonna look like <laughs> a ghost. I always do anyway, so. Guys, but we're super excited for today. We've literally been waiting for this day for months. Mm -hmm. Like, I literally would talk about it every single day. Yep. Hong Kong. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Like, it's finally here. Like, when I woke up today, I woke up before my alarm, and that never happens. And, like, I got up, I cleaned the house, and that never happens. So, like, I was just so excited. I literally can't fucking wait. So we were gonna do a mukbang. We literally, how many times did we do it? Three times? Quick story time. We've had already like three videos that we haven't posted like within one week. Yeah, and we filmed all of them and asked us if it came out good. No, it didn't. So we're just gonna get ready with you guys and we're gonna answer the questions that we got asked when we were gonna do our mukbang. Um, so you guys can, since you guys wanna be cheese muscles. We're gonna answer some questions while we get ready. We well, always get asked where we're from, like what part of Mexico, but I feel like we always say it. If you guys haven't seen our other q and I'm gonna leave um, that link in our bio down below. So just in case you wanna get to know us more, um, we did a whole Q&A on ourselves. Yeah. So what did they ask? Where we're from, like what, what part of Mexico? We're from, my parents are from Jalisco. Can I ask where you're from? And then I'm from, Chihuahua and Durango. So someone asked how to, how do you party a lot without having your parents freak out? So I feel like if you have strict parents, the best advice I can give to you is to, to not lie. So just like tell your parents like where you guys are going, I don't know, like how do I say it, like trust? Yeah. Gain your parents' trust. No guys, we don't do stupid stuff, so I feel like that's why we're always like out because we're responsible. Yeah, like yeah, we, we will party and like get like drink, but like nothing, not nothing, nothing crazier than that. Someone asked, um, saying how to get over a fuckboy. I feel like how to get over a fuckboy. Like let's just say you guys break up. So I'm gonna talk about like what I would do. I'm not an expert in fuckboys, like you know. I feel like we all have, we've all gone through something. So I feel like what I would do to get over a fuckboy, I would just go out and like enjoy myself and like. Hang out with like positive people and like that way like you're not just at home thinking about him. So that's what like, I that's what I would do to get over a fuckboy. Just like going out with my friends, doing stuff that I like, um, and like you know just keeping your mind keeping your mind off that negative not negativity you had in your life. What would you do? Uh, I feel like how to get over a fuckboy like. Definitely, like, you kind of have to have the people, the, like, the right people there to, like, help you. Because, like, having your family. Yeah, All right, what up? Having your family there and, like, having friends to go out with, like, that would, like, that definitely helps. Because if you're just alone, like, I'm not saying it's impossible for you to get over him, but, like, it's hard, like, by yourself because that's all you're thinking about, you know? But, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like when I, like, was trying to get over a fuckboy, like, I just went out with my friends, like, 
just did my own thing, you know, like, um, what else? Like, I'm not saying, like, necessarily go on dates or anything like that. Like, that, I feel like that wouldn't help. Because, like, Cause then you're just I like, feel like you're not in the right mindset after, like, you break up with someone to go straight to, like, dating someone else. But, like, definitely, like, just going out with your friends and, like, having fun. And I feel like if you go on a date, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it to get over someone. Mm -hmm. So, like, in the back of your head, you're only, do it, you're only doing it for revenge. And then Kinda. you probably you don't even end up liking that. So, you're probably, yeah. So, I wouldn't recommend going on dates right away. But, like, I do recommend, like, going out with your friends. Doing stuff that, like, you like to keep your mind off of it. Yeah. Um, don't look at his social media. <laughs> Block, Block him. him. Block him. Block him. Or, like, I feel like most fuckboys just always try to hit you up. Yeah. It's like, that's, like, what I feel like helps us. is just to, like, just do you. Someone asked, any advice on starting a YouTube channel? Guys, so, like, we get asked this question so many times on, like, you guys ask us for advice. And, like, you know, we'll give you guys advice, but at the end of the day, we're not experts in YouTube. Like, like we're still learning. We're still learning the process, like... Guys, we didn't even know how to create a YouTube channel. To this day, like, we, there's still people who have less subscribers than we do in their edits and, like, their thumbnails and, like, everything is, like, way better than ours. Yeah. So, like, we're not experts in YouTube, but, like, the only advice we can give you is, like, from our past experience of what we've been through. It's, like, being yourself. Being yourself. Because if you're not yourself, I feel like you won't have a connection with your viewers, with your audience. And that's how you get like more subscribers. And that's how you'll get, you know, you'll get your videos being watched more, you'll get subscribers. It's, you need to feel, you need to feel a connection with your viewers and your viewers need to have a connection with you. Because if you are trying to fake it and like be someone who you're not and I post like, a video like that, like I feel like people catch onto that and they're not gonna wanna like. I feel like you can tell. Yeah, and they're not gonna wanna watch you. Me personally, like my advice I would give on starting a YouTube channel is be yourself from the beginning. Yeah, like. Um, what's it called? People always ask us like tips and trips, tricks, but like honestly, like, like this shit happened to us like random as hell. Like, we were never expecting this to happen. Obviously, like, we wanted it to happen, but like, we weren't just expecting it to happen that fast. So, like, it's kind of hard because everyone always hits us up and tells us, like, oh, like, what did you do to do this? What did you like? We don't do nothing. We didn't do anything. Like, we, we don't have the best edi editing skills. We don't have the best thumbnails. We don't have. We're still learning. We don't have the best advice. We don't have the best videos. We don't have the best, like, whatever you guys want to say. But, like, I feel like what attracts our viewers is just being us because this is literally us every single day. Like, yeah. our personality, like, our mensadas, like, our jokes, like, whatever, like, how we are with each other. This is how we are behind the camera because we also obviously we do have a life outside like youtube and like this is how we are and the people that truly know how we are in person like i'm i can guarantee you guys they're gonna say that this is how we act yeah. like in person and like, we're not trying to be someone we're not so I don't know. yeah basically all we can say like just at the end yourself. of the day is just be yourself like that's all you can do and like let everything else like happen on its own so the next question was if um we ever plan on making merch Honestly, like, I feel like even before YouTube, we wanted to make merch, mm -hmm. but like, we don't know what to. I feel like no one's gonna buy it. Not even, not even that. But like, I just feel like I don't know what to like. Like, what would we? Well, yeah, like, what would be on the merch? You know? If you guys have any ideas of what you guys want to see our merch about, comment down and let us know what you guys would want to see. And let us know if you guys would actually buy it. Obviously, we won't make it expensive because if it's something, oh hell no! If it's something we wouldn't buy, like we're not gonna sell it. Yeah, guys, cause like I'm not kidding. Like we've had companies hit us up saying if we want to buy like their not buy if we want to like promote their clothing, but their clothing's like sixty bucks for a shirt. Why would and like me and Cass like literally just stopped hitting them up because we we're like, there's no way like if we wouldn't even buy that like why would why we, would we you promote it? Make why would yeah. Like, and this other, like, bikini company, like, their fucking bikinis were, like, almost $100 for a one-piece. Like, yeah, I understand, like, you know, it's your business, but, like, personally, us, like, if we would not pay fucking $100 for a fucking bathing suit, like, why would we sell it to you guys? So, we were, like, oh, no, like, nope. Like, we're really picky with who we want to, like, do collaborations with, because it's kind of hard. Because, yeah, because, like, if, like what, if we wouldn't buy it, we wouldn't promote it. Yeah. And especially if it's expensive, why would we, like, that's basically ripping you guys off. Yeah, and, like, that's, like, the whole purpose of us, like, our channels, like, trying to show you guys, like, 
um, like, you know, like cheap stuff compared to like more expensive stuff. So like we would look stupid promoting a company that their fucking bathing suits are almost $100. So one of the questions was, how do you keep a good friendship? Honestly, like that's fucking hard. That Honestly guys, that's hard because like me and Carla have, we both, we both, we've both had bad luck with friends. I know that's crazy, but like, like growing up, I never, I never had like a friendship last more than like two years. Yep. Like my friendship from high school like lasted and then right after high school like that's when it ended. I feel like after high school like you just lose your, I don't know, like you may stay in contact with them for like a year but then after that like everyone just does their own thing. Yeah. It's just hard. And people change. And yeah. Because I feel like me and Carla get each other just because we're like, we're literally the same we're person. We're literally the same person. And like it's hard, like it's hard, it's hard like finding someone to like relate with you. If you really want to find like a best friend or like to keep a relationship, just be honest and be open. And like if something's bugging you, talk about it. Like don't let any, don't hold anything back because if you need to, if you feel like you need to hold back from then a, that's not your friend. If, yeah, if you feel like you need to hold back from a friend, think about it. Is that really your friend? Yeah. Because like your friend, you should be able to talk to about anything. And like if something bugs you about them, like they should be able to understand that you're not trying to be rude to them. You're just trying to like show them how you feel. If you get in an argument with someone and they literally can't even fix the argument or try to talk to you, just know that they don't want you in your life. Mm -hmm. Someone asked us if there's a weekend that we don't go out. Like if you guys have us on Snapchat, like that's where we mostly post our stuff because like, like I said, that's like our way of vlogging through Snapchat. Cause it's easier, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like in the moment. And it's like, in the moment, you know? Yeah. So like, I'm gonna take that like as a bad way because like, it's not that we can't stay home. It's just like we're just enjoying life. Like that's just us. Like we just we're like just having down. like we're just not like having fun. Like we don't even have to be like like out drinking. Like if we just hang out, like and go to the store or go shopping, like that's just like a way of us going out. Like mm -hmm. we just like having fun, like experiencing life. Like we don't like being fucking stuck home, being fucking arrugadas. Like we don't like that. And like usually the, the the thing about us is that we I don't think we we don't know how to say no. Yeah, like every time someone asks us, "Are you down?" We're just like, "Okay." Like they don't even tell us where we're going. They literally just ask, "Are you guys down?" Me and Carla are always like, "Yep." Mhm. Mm like they say "Calle" and I say, "I'm going." Yeah. Someone's um message just saying, "Um, would you guys ever be down to like be friends with one of your subscribers?" First of all, we're already all friends. Yeah. Or like hang out. But yes. like honestly, guys, like we all. <laughs> We always tell you guys that you guys never like follow through. Yeah. And me and Cass are like the type that if you say like, oh, we're gonna go out on a certain day, like, and you just mention it once, like, we'll still be ready to go out that day with you. And like, I feel like a bunch of you guys aren't like that. Which I understand, like, you know, like, you're like, stuff you have happened. You have shit to do. Are we down to hang out with our subscribers? Yeah, we yes. Are. I'm like, but y'all got, you guys don't ever hit us up. It's like, <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm not kidding. Like, I. I can't even get ready because I just want to be there already. Like, I just want to be at the concert. And I know I'm going to cry. Like, I just know it. I want to go on stage so fucking bad. I'm literally going to twerk on him. Guys, so I didn't do like a full cup crease because I had, like I said, I already had finished my eye look, so it's like a half cut crease. But it's it's cool, it looks different. But I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, I don't have time. Guys, so at the beginning of the video, we said that we had so much time to get ready and we don't. So that's no. why we're, we're rushing. It's because we like low key want to go eat. We went to go eat <laughs> in like mid video. So, and we took forever because we were cooking cooking so then now we're like trying to hurry because like like i said we're literally late to everything Okay guys, so we just finished doing our makeup. So this is like, I just did pink with glitter and like, yeah. Cause like my outfit is pink. You'll guys, you'll guys, you'll see it in the end of the video, but we're gonna do our hair. We're running late, so. We're not gonna vlog that part. So. We'll record that part. Yeah, we'll be right back. 
Okay, so Carla, where'd you get your outfit from? Uh, my boots are from Forever 21, my fanny pack store in downtown LA. My dress is from Target, but that's it. Dang. Her makeup looks so cute. <laughs> where'd okay. you get your outfit from, Cass? Um, Forever 21. And what about your shoes and your fanny pack? Um, these were a present. Um, my fanny pack is yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is from Forever 21. And then my glasses are from downtown LA. Oof. We out here. I can't fucking walk. <laughs> guys, so we made it to our seats, guys. Guys, I'm scared. I don't know why. I'm just scared. We made it on time. So I know, sorry. Surprisingly, if, yeah. Sorry if this vlog is like kind of like rushed, but like guys, like we had to be here on time. And like we made like we didn't even get nothing to drink, nothing. Nothing. Like we literally ran from our car straight to sit down. Not even Starbucks, and I wanted Starbucks. Let me show you guys where we're sitting. Okay. ¡Gracias! 